Good morning, 58th District. I am coming to you live from my home office just to let you know what it is I'm up to right now. For the last day and a half, I've been telephoning around to local businesses in the area to find out what they need and what is uh, most important to sustain our community through this coronavirus outbreak. And what I'm learning is that local businesses here are just incredible. They are working as hard as they can to make sure that they meet payroll and that they are able to keep their employees uh, who depend on those paychecks paid through this very uncertain time. And so I'm coming to all of you to encourage you to please stand with our local businesses. If you have uh, the need to go to a grocery store, please make it a locally owned grocery store uh, or a, you know, a shop that you can find your necessaries at uh, that's locally owned. If you are able, please go ahead and order takeout from a local business because you know that that uh, purchase of food is going to get money directly into the hands of our friends and neighbors who need those paychecks. I'm also calling very strongly on the state to take some action similar to what has just been rolled out in New York City to support small businesses and local businesses through this challenge because uh, New York City has set up a small business interest-free loan program. They've also set up grants for those local businesses to be able to meet payroll. And that's the sort of action that we really need from the state right now to make sure that we as a community are going to be able to weather this challenge. I've put an op-ed into the Odessa file. I encourage you to go take a look at that. I've identified lots of different ways that you can help and that I already see people all across our 58th district helping. And what I really wanna encourage everybody to do is follow the public health recommendations. Absolutely, wash your hands, practice safe social distancing, make sure that you are following those rules that are out there on the highways. I've seen highway signs uh, flashing that it's best to stay home and save lives. That's absolutely true. But in the event that you need to go out and you need to purchase Purchase something, purchase it from a local business, please. Thanks very much, 58th District. That's my update for this morning. I'll continue to stay in close touch, uh, and I am really proud of our community and how we're weathering this. Be in touch with me with any suggestions or ideas. Thank you.